Hello everyone! Happy, happy Sunday! Come on in, join me for another segment of Preschool Live. Come on in, happy, happy Sunday guys. Listen, can you believe that 2020 is almost over? Can you believe that? I certainly can't, but listen, I am so full of joy, full of just excitement for everything that God is doing through us. Hey, come on in. Join us. Grab your preschoolers because today is going to be another amazing lesson as we continue to tis the season. Listen, for those who don't know me, I am Francis Jones. I'm the preschool coordinator at Right Direction Church International under the amazing leadership of Bishop Herbert Bailey and Dr. Marsha Bailey. So come on in, grab your little ones for an amazing lesson. So last week, we talked about traditions, right? We talked about what traditions we have. And I shared that one tradition that my family likes to do every year, every year, and I actually still have it here. Every year, we do um, some kind of a decorating contest, right? And truth be told, my husband or my daughter always wins. I don't know what's going on with that. Well, this year, so it's usually like either um, a, like a gingerbread competition, right? Well, this year, we're going to change it up. And we found these pretty cool, ugly sweater cookies that we're going to decorate. And we're going to see who gets them this year. So that's a tradition that I have that we have with my family, right? And hopefully you have a tradition that you do with your family around the holiday season as well. So that was traditions. Well, I was thinking about this and I was praying. I said, well, God, what else do you want me to tell your preschoolers, right? Because there's so much that we can talk about during the holiday season. Well, one thing that stuck out to me is gifts. Who likes to get gifts? I like to receive gifts. I love to receive gifts, but one thing that I love to do more during the holiday season, instead of just getting gifts, I also really love to re to uh, give gifts, and I also love to wrap gifts, right? So check this out. This is what I have for you. I wanted to show you. So I've got some pretty wrapping paper. How many of you all little ones love different wrapping papers? Look at that pretty wrapping paper. And I try to always get the ones that actually say Merry Christmas on them instead of, you know, like ho, ho, ho or, or um, happy holidays. I wanted to actually say Merry Christmas. So that's one of my wrapping papers. And I've got another one that's really pretty. Look at that. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? That silver. And it's in that pretty cursive Merry Christmas as well. And then this is my last one. I hadn't even used this one yet. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at those colors. Isn't that so, so pretty? So that's something that I love to do. I love wrapping gifts. And as I thought about it, I said, gosh, God, you know what? I love wrapping gifts. And let's just think about it. God tells us in this chapter, I want you to think about this. In Luke, the second chapter, the 12th verse, it tells us about the very most important gift you will ever receive. Okay? That was also wrapped. Who can guess what that is? Because it tells us in the Bible, once again, it's Luke, second chapter, the 12th verse. What? That there was a baby lying in a manger wrapped in swaddling clothes, right? And guess what? That perfect and most precious gift that we will never be able to replace is Jesus, right? So that just think about that. The same way we get so excited about beautiful wrapping papers and, and everything else and making certain that our gifts and when we were, when we were giving them that they're perfectly wrapped. God did that for us many, many years ago by wrapping the gift of Jesus for us in swaddling clothes. So we should always be in the mindset, little ones, during the Christmas season. I know we can get so excited because there's so much lights and so much fun. Miss Frances likes fun too, as you can see. You see my little hat? I love fun. But always remember 
the reason for the season. And it's because of that gift that was wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in that manger for us all. Okay, so always, always remember that. So your activity for tonight, I'm going I'm to give you some fun activity, okay? Some fun activity for tonight. Your fun activity tonight, I want you to practice wrapping a gift, okay? And I know sometimes, parents, you know, we've got, I, can't, I think sometimes we kind of got used to dropping things in a gift bag and putting some tissue on it and <laughs> call it a day. But I want you to get a box, something that you have to practice your your folding skills, your measuring and your cutting skills. Of course, when you're dealing with scissors, little ones, you have to have a grown up next to you to make certain that you're safe and you're using them properly, right? But I want that to be your activity this evening. Get a box. It doesn't have to be a big box, but just get some wrapping paper. Even if it's, you can even practice with newspaper. You can practice with tissue paper. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, okay? This is just an activity to once again get our preschoolers using those cognitive skills, using those skills with their hands and learning how to wrap a gift properly. And once you're wrapping that gift, also just think about and discuss that perfect beautiful gift. Hey, Katora, how are you? And just think about that perfect gift that God gave us in Jesus. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to close out in prayer. How about that? All right, little ones. So let's close our eyes. Let's put our hands together and let's give all of our attention and love to God. Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the most perfect and precious gift that we could ever receive in your son, Jesus. We thank you that he will always be the reason for this season, Lord God. And we thank you for the blood of that of your son, Jesus, watching over us, protecting us, healing us, Lord God. We thank you that we continue to speak and declare that we will go out of this year better than we came in, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, Ari, how are you and grandma? Hey, how are you doing? Well, listen, just a few more announcements. I'm not going to keep you long today. But listen, I wanted to remind you, don't forget that we now have our own uh, YouTube channel. Our children's ministry has a YouTube channel. So make certain that you subscribe. It's um, RDCI Kids Town. Just go there and subscribe so that you can stay up to date. We're going to be doing so many fun things with that channel, especially crossing over to the new year. So I don't want you to miss out on anything, okay? All right. The second thing is the preschoolers, we are having a Jolly Jam party coming up on December 19th at 4 o'clock. Make certain that you are in the children's ministry group right here. You can get can find it right from this page at the Right Direction page. Go ahead and connect with that group so you can get the Zoom information. We're going to have a good preschool fun time, okay? So make certain that you do that. And then lastly, of course, I know most of you have already heard, but we I want to make certain that you know that on December 23rd, December 23rd is our Christmas extravaganza and the children's ministry are, um, we're going to be a part of that. So make certain that you're tuned in to live stream, um, on Facebook stay connected with us. Okay, guys, I want you to have a fantastic, even remember, remember the gift that God gave us years ago, the perfect gift that was wrapped in a manger, wrapped up in swaddling clothes, ready for us, okay? Guys, love you so much. Have a great evening, and I'll see you next Sunday. Talk to you later. Bye.